In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to uh, use a TP series cameras with an NVR with built-in PoE. What I'm going to show you specifically is how to connect them if you have a PoE built-in NVR. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm using an indoor version of the TP series. The uh, model number is ID or IPID TP 2MP IR50 L2812. Um, I'm going to be show you specifically how to uh, connect the camera to the interface of the MVR and uh, how will the MVR uh, recognize the camera and display the picture. So uh, the first thing you need to know is the range of your uh, lens side of, of your MVR. For example, my network here is that one, uh, 192, 168, that one network. So the MVR has the 133 network IP address and the PoE side is gonna have something different. It cannot be within the same range as the NVR LAN side. So uh, this in particular is configured as 10.1.10.1. And notice that the IP address and the gateway are the same. And the reason for that is you need to be pointed to itself. The, the NVR needs to be pointed to itself for the switch settings. So do not, if you try to put 192.168.1.1 and you save the configurations, it's gonna say that you are within the same range. Uh, and that's why you can't. You can change this to something else. You can do 192.168.2, that one, if, if you want it. Make sure that these two sections are the same. So if you choose to go with the, uh, this network the, or this IP address, then the gateway needs to be the same, okay? Let me cancel that. Notice it's 10.1.10.1. My uh, camera, I configure it Within the, same, within the same range as 10.1.10.100. So uh, all I need to do is connect the camera to the PO, one of the PoE ports and wait probably 40 seconds, maybe a minute, for uh, uh, the camera to fully uh, boot up. And uh, you need to add it manually. Now, let me explain something that a lot of customers have asked me before. Uh, the PoE side of the NVR it's basically plug and play for all of the EL series IP cameras. If you have an ELC, uh, uh, an, an EL series IP cameras, um, you will basically plug it in and you will be good to go. And the NVR will choose a, a channel where he wants to uh, allocate that camera and that's it. Now what happened is this. Uh, if you connect the EL series camera in port number one, the NVR necessarily is not going to choose that particular channel. It can choose channel two, or it can choose channel three. Although you connect this to the PoE one, or the port number one on the PoE, it will not choose that as the channel. All right, so uh, I'm gonna add the TP series camera in uh, channel one. Although I have it connected on port number four, but I'm gonna add it to channel one. So it needs to be manual, manually added. So you click the plus. If you try to do IP search, nothing's gonna happen, nothing's gonna show. This is a uh, uh, DVR that I have on the network. Uh, you have to add it manually. So I click manual add. For the channel, I, I choose channel one. And for the protocol, I'm gonna choose OMVIF because this is not private. Privates are only the EL series camera. The IP address, we said that it was uh, 10.1.10.100. That that That's what I set the camera to. Remember, it's, it has to fall within the same range as the switch settings or the PoE range of, of IPs. And the HTTP port, which in terms is the OMBIF port, is for this particular camera is 8080. That's pretty much it. Once I save it, there you go. That's the camera. And uh, you can see that's how easy it is. Now if I wanted to change some of the settings like encode, can go there, can change the frames if, it, if I wanted to, uh, customize the bit rate, and so on. All right, it's very simple. And this applies to all of the TP series cameras. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.